Hello, this is Mr. Eason with Homework Help for Section 7.1. In this section, we're looking at visual models, and we're trying to come up with addition or subtraction equations for, with fractions that match the models. And so we're just going to dive right in. We're going to start to make some equations. Uh, we're going to look at number one first, where we have this picture right here plus this picture right here equals this picture right here. And so all we're going to do is we're going to label each fraction picture that we have. Uh, the first model is three-fifths. Three are shaded out of five total, so it's going to be three-fifths. Plus, in the next picture, we have one-fifth shaded. And we're going to put an equal sign, and that's going to be four-fifths. As you can see on the picture, there are four shaded. Okay, that's pretty easy. Um, three is really easy as well. Uh, it's the same thing. We have one-fourth plus one-fourth, and that's going to equal two-fourths. So all we're going to do is we're going to write that out. One-fourth plus one-fourth equals two-fourths. What we're trying to show or make sure we understand here is when we're adding fractions, the denominator or bottom number is not going to change as long as they start with the same denominator. They're not going to you know, magically turn to tenths here or to eighths here. Uh, the ones that are a little bit harder to get, I think, are the subtraction ones. Um, you're going to start by looking at the visual model. It's only one visual model to start. And there are two triangles that were originally shaded. So we're going to go ahead and write two-thirds. We know we're subtracting because you have one of the pieces X'd out. So on this one, we're going to subtract one-third... And then we're going to count how many pieces are shaded and not marked out, which is just this one piece right here. So we have one-third left. And two-thirds minus one-third is one-third. We'll look really quickly down at number four, and then I will let you go and do your homework. Uh, this one, this part can kind of confuse kids. This is just showing that one hole would be this big. So this piece right down here is five-eighths because there are five brown pieces shaded here. Five one-eighth pieces is five-eighths. So we'll write five-eighths. We will subtract off the pieces that are uh, marked out, which is 3 eighths. And we have left two pieces that are shaded and not marked out, so your answer should be 2 eighths here. Okay, and that is how we are modeling our addition and subtraction of fractions. The last thing I want to mention really briefly is that this only works is the visual models or the things that we are adding or subtracting are the same size. If the, vis if the things are not the same size, you can't add them, you can't subtract them, you can't even compare them. Uh, the phrase comparing apples to oranges is pretty much true here. If we are doing one half of an apple and one half of an orange, that does not make one whole piece of fruit. Um, similarly, if we're adding one half of a small pizza and one half of a large pizza, that does not equal one full pizza because the pizzas are, were different sizes to start. So you can only add or subtract or compare fractions if they're talking about the same size whole. Uh, with that, that's been homework help for section 7.1, visual models for adding and subtracting fractions. Thank you, and good luck on your homework.